Hey, I'm Jim Kimball, editor of CordCuttingReport.com, and today we're talking about the Vizio V-Series Smart TV. The 2023 model is a budget-level 4K Smart TV that supports Dolby Vision, HDR, and HDR10. The 2023 model came out in mid-2022. Vizio did send me a TV to review for a few weeks, but this is not a sponsored video. I'm taking you through the pros and cons I've found with this TV after testing it out for a few weeks. The latest V-Series model has Vizio's Active IQ processor, which upscales some content to 4K resolution. Vizio is using its thin frame design on this TV, which gives it a more premium look right out of the box. In terms of picture quality, the V-Series has a crisp image really good color accuracy. The display has excellent contrast ratio with very deep blacks. The TV has full array backlight, but it does lack local dimming and wide color gamut that you would see on more premium 4K TVs. So in other words, the TV does not get bright enough to fend off glare in a really sun-drenched room. This TV is more suited for watching it head on if you stand at a sharp angle, you'll notice that the picture starts to look a little washed out. You do have a number of picture modes for watching sports, movies, and there's a picture mode for gaming. Speaking of gaming, this TV also has a low input lag with AMD FreeSync. You can fine tune the brightness, sharpness, tint and color temperature to your liking. I really like the remote control for this TV. It's palm sized and intuitive to use. All the buttons were where I expected them to be. Navigation wheel is at the top with a volume rocker underneath. It has dedicated buttons for power, volume, mute, settings, and a button for closed captions. There are quick launch buttons for Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Pluto TV, iHeartRadio, and Tubi. This TV runs on SmartCast, which is Vizio's own smart TV software that is available across all its smart TV models. I thought the long list of voice commands that were available through Amazon Alexa and Google Home were pretty impressive for a TV at this price point. The V-Series supports Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and Apple Home. So I consider having hands-free controls over the TV's power, volume, and streaming apps really a premium feature. But the other thing that I was really impressed with is that SmartCast lets you have voice control over certain streaming apps even when the TV is powered off. So you could walk into the room with the TV powered off and have the television come on and launch a specific streaming app by just using your voice. Vizio also has a pretty nice mobile app that has all the same features as your remote. I would say the TV speakers have adequate sound. The TV came preset with DTS Virtual X, but after tinkering around with the audio, I preferred using surround sound. The V-Series also supports Dolby Audio and Dolby Atmos pass-through when you pair it with a Vizio soundbar. You also have the option to connect with a pair of Bluetooth headphones. I connected my wireless Bose headphones to the television and I was hoping for a, a slightly better audio experience, but I found even using the headphones, the sound was adequate, but I wouldn't call it great. The TV comes preloaded with 123 streaming apps so when you power up the V-Series for the first time, your apps are already preloaded. You're not going to an app store like Google Play. A number of popular streaming services that you would expect to see are already on the TV. That includes Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, Amazon Prime Video, and Apple TV+. Plus. You can rearrange the order of your streaming apps under the Customize Apps Row tab. I would say the home screen does have some similarities to Google TV or Android TV. 
There are rows organized by trending now and personalized recommendations for you. You can build a watch list of movies or series from across your streaming services. Smartcast puts your watch list about two rows down from where your apps are, so it's very easy to get to if you want to just quickly start watching a movie that you bookmarked earlier. The V-Series supports Google Chromecast and Apple AirPlay, so you can cast other streaming apps to the TV along with favorite photos or videos from your devices. After combing through all the apps on Smartcast, I did notice some omissions that I wish were there. Smartcast does not have an ESPN app. There's also no app for Showtime or CNN. Smaller streaming services such as Philo or my favorite, the Criterion Channel, are also not supported. Of course, it's important to note that it's the streaming service itself that decides what hardware they're going to support. There was one other thing that I wish was a little bit better with this TV. You can plug a TV antenna into the V-Series, but there really isn't any dedicated channel guide, and I felt like that was a real miss for a budget TV. At the very least, I would have liked to have seen some kind of channel guide maybe integrated with the watch-free service that Vizio has on SmartCast. But overall, I came away impressed with all of the features and supported picture resolutions for a 4K TV at this price. I think this TV would be a great pick for a spare bedroom or maybe a kid's room without busting the bank. I hope this video was helpful. For a deeper dive into the Vizio V-Series, you can check out my review at cordcuttingreport.com under the review section. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.